Alrighty. Well, this is where we got to last night. We had a bit of rain and a bit of uh, <laughs> stuff happen this morning. Uh, looks like I might be getting more than this week off. Could be a month off. Could be a uh, big permanent holiday. Anyway, I could sort of see on the horizon that things are slowing down at work badly because some of the customers have been buying machines that do what our machines do and doing everything in house and uh, yeah I know from having spent two years in the concrete industry previously uh, or should I say the concrete as supply industry because that's really what it is um, when I was at the form workplace during the hot months of the year which are basically Christmas in the southern hemisphere December may or may not be slow January was absolutely dead and that's when most concreters have their holidays uh, because it gets too hot to pour concrete. Usually it comes back in the middle of February, it all starts to wind up and by March you're flying. And uh, here we are, <laughs> halfway through April and it's just getting slower and slower. So yeah, anyway, I don't know if I'll be going back or not. What I do know is I'm gonna get a chance to finish all this so I've realized that I don't have a great deal of good bricks left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine and a half. If a lot of these other ones are these botchy ass ones that, you know, are part of the original ones built in the probably about 1895, these landed here. And uh, oh, the clay quality isn't good. And they're, they're also pretty, watch this crack straight away they're rubbish they really are rubbish so so I'm not using that that's that's heat damage that <laughs> that really has been out of the fireplace originally that one um, anyway I could use rocks they're very heavy very heavy I'm a little bit worried about the weight of this, not so much on the foundation, but on this boy when he starts rusting out, old propane tank here, you know, about one eighth of an inch, three mil, slightly less than one eighth of an inch maybe, um, yeah, and what happens after a couple of years, well they all start eating out a bit, don't they? So rocks are probably too heavy, I'm running out of bricks. What do I have? I've got about a small truck full of sand. So why don't I just create a giant containment tub? If you can see me lying there, I'm planning to sort of go across here. Somehow across here. And then I may try to stop it here. And I've got to definitely build this one up here. To create sort of a uh, sand tub and your thermal mass becomes your sand or your sand becomes your thermal mass rather this is still a little bit of a sticky situation here we've got to work out cutting a brick with a tile cutter or something to create so or it might end up being a fire brick that's a very specific shaped formwork one and uh, yeah something to sort of block this off block that off but I can pull it out that way so that I can still clean down here back to the original flue hole that's in the propane tank and out this way because I want to be able to go both directions from the one hole but I can't fill that up with concrete because that's literally me flue so we'll work something out. I might be making some bit of formwork that goes over here and there or so, I don't know. There's really something to be said for making a plan and sticking with it. There's also something to be said for making everything out of random shapes and shit because it just turned into a bloody circus. And uh, you get what you want eventually, but you done it the hard way. <laughs> Because it's all very randomised with, you know, rocks and 
half bricks and not even half bricks are all right you know but it's just oh wow it can be a little bit of a circus i'm also annoyed that this went like that anyway that's the plan that we're going to try and work on and then uh, i've got to go and render all this in a vermiculite type mix you can use both perlite and vermiculite um, either one or the other and sometimes even both to make fire bricks but i've got to get chicken wire sorted and render a heap of that over here but then it's all got to be different because of hinges and, and i've got to probably make a little wall out here and make a little fake panel that probably another concrete panel maybe even reinforced one that goes over the top here i do have a panel but it's not long enough for that i'm going to be playing around a lot with these old cupboard doors that my father's got and uh, <laughs> doing what i know to be doable with form work and uh, try and make a few things up here yeah it's going to be a bit of a circus like i said it's a, a great concept to make plans and stick with them because <laughs> things don't get complicated and they don't get unpredictable but it is what it is and we're going to have some time to do it and uh yeah, I haven't really done much today because it was raining this morning, early hours of the morning and all last night. And um, Yeah, had to wait for phone calls today to find a few things out. And the sun's uh, starting to go down quickly. So, so anyway, that's uh, what we're up to so far.